Today's video is on how to create a pooled test or quiz. What we want to do is we want to go to test or quizzes and we want to manage test and quizzes so that we can make a test and quiz. So now we go to create assignments. Now again I'm going through this rather quickly because by now this should be very familiar. Let's make um, a test and let's call this test pooled. Okay. Now, what are the goals and objectives to creating these pooled exams? Um, this is so that you can create unique exams to help cut down cheating, or if you have exams that you allow them to take more than one time, like on a quiz, it adds some variety so that they don't get the same questions every time. So let's just um, collect, let's just, there we go adding and subtracting real numbers. All objectives are fine. Let's um, get a couple of these problems over there, hopefully in different objectives. And one down here too. Now I'm adding it over there. We see that we have multiple different objectives here. Adding two numbers with the same sign and so on. What we want to do is we want to go to pooling options. If we go to pooling options, it asks us, do we want to enable or disable? We want to enable because we want to create a, a pooled group. What this is going to do is when the question is ready to be cast to the student, um, it's going to give them a random generation. What I mean is if we take these two, click them on, we see that the pooled button lights up. Great. So now these are all considered one question. As you notice here, they are problem one. So when the student is presented with this problem, it'll give them this one or it'll give them that one randomly. <coughs> it adds some variety to your exams. Um, this is useful if you have a lot of students taking the same exam in a lab environment or quiz. So. Now that we have these two pooled, what if we wanted to add another one to that pool? Say we got down here and thought that it was similar to that one and wanted to include it into that array or choice list. So I'll click on these two and that one also and I'll pull it. Now I can also unpool it. Say I want this one out of there. So I can unpool it just like that. And then that should conclude the pooling video. And then here, that makes it all question two. And let's just make this a three question quiz or test. And now, when the student gets this exam, it'll have three questions on it. The first question will be one of these two. The second question will be one of these three. And the third question will be one of these two. And then it's routine after that. There are no other surprises and it is administered just like a quiz. And that's today's video on pooling.